Hey guys, Dino Zero. <clears throat> Mid morning coffee break. And as always, holy crap, that's good coffee. Um, I leave a link always in the description box, by the way. I've had a couple people ask me about the coffee. I always put a link down in the description box to where I get this coffee from. And it really is good coffee. I was talking with uh, my buddy Sammy yesterday, Ironhead41. We was talking on the telephone. Uh, you guys remember what the telephone is, you know, that plugs into the wall in your house and you can put numbers in and call and talk with people. <laughs> so, but we was talking, you know, that you're not going to be able to prepare and be prepared for everything that comes along. And the example of what we were talking about was this, this crazy spring that we've been having this year where it's been hot and cold and too much rain then not enough rain and stuff is having a hard time growing and the only thing that's ready right now in my garden that we could eat is uh, the salad greens and the lettuces and stuff everything else is, is really slow last year when we was harvesting and preserving and canning and dehydrating all that stuff we had no way of knowing that this spring would be one of them crazy screwed up springs so where everything was going to be you know off to a slow start so if we you know how we live and 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 ironhead is pretty much the same as you know he's just a goofy old country guy just like the rest of us trying to make it and he grows big gardens and he's got his animals and whatnot but what we were talking about is is if we, we harvested last year with the intention of getting us through till this year well, there'd be a few weeks there whenever, you know, as he put it, he's like, well, we ain't had enough, we'd, we'd be hungry. <laughs> and, uh, and so I guess my point is, is that in your location, wherever you are, you need to know what the land can provide for you as well as what you can produce on your own. Meaning here in my area, if uh, we were out of, uh, you know, if we were in a food emergency and we were on our own and we were in a food emergency, I would be looking <clears throat> to the land we have poke salad we have dandelions we have plantains those are the kind of things that are up right now soon the blackberries will be coming on those are the kind of things that my particular area offers us uh, for food if you know we find ourselves in some sort of a, a food emergency when we're on our own to where we can't uh, you know we, we the stuff in the garden is not up yet we've gone through the stuff that we harvested uh, and we're in a a limbo area where we're waiting for the new garden to come on and uh, you know so we can start getting that stuff and, and getting it stored away so that's why it's important to know in, in your geographic location what you know what the place has to offer you as far as food goes like I say you know we've, we've got several things out here and plus we raise animals and whatnot and there's a lot of stuff that we can hunt but right now we're not hunting we're not hunting anything because it's you know everything's got littlins uh they got little deer and we got little you know everything's got little the only thing that i'm trying to really get is that dang coon that keeps trying to get into my chicken house at night and i'll get him eventually he hasn't gotten any more of my chickens because you know i've got to keep everything locked up but he still tries every night or most nights anyway but even the coons have got little ones right now and stuff so we're not shooting anything because we want to make sure that there's more animals you know that, that keep coming on and the whole circle of life thing but if we were in a food emergency, yeah, I would blast, you know, whatever I saw, but that would feed us. So, you're not going to be able to prepare for everything. There's some things you're just not going to know. You're not going to know. I mean, we know that the winter is going to be rough. We know that the spring, the, the storm season is usually rough. But you never know what the spring season or the fall season, you know. I mean, you could have a great big beautiful crop on, and then before you get out there to harvest it, the fall comes in, the winter comes in early, and it freezes everything. So those are the kind of things that you just really can't prepare for, uh, especially in the springtime when you're planting and you're getting your garden going and you're getting your new stuff uh, to, to go. You know, you, you're not going to know the year before when you're harvesting what the, you know what the next spring is going to hold. So you got to always kind of keep that in the back of your mind, especially those of us who live, you know, from our last harvest to preserve it for a year to get us through to the next harvest. Sometimes that harvest may be slow. Uh, sometimes that harvest 
may be small and uh, it just is what it is. Those are the kind of things that you'll never know and those are the kind of things that you have to have a plan B for uh, in your in, in the way that you think. Say well okay well now we've got you know it's June the majority of the garden won't be ready until July. I've got a month here to where I don't have any food stores left. We're not ready to start harvesting anything yet. What are we going to eat? Okay, well we've got rabbits and you know that we can eat. We've got eggs. We've got chickens. What else can we get from the land? You know, there's there's honeysuckles, plantains, poke salad. So, those are the kind of things that uh, that you have to learn as well. As is really is is another part of uh, of homesteading or living you know the on your own lifestyle uh, that I choose to try to to try to live is to know what there is around me here that we can also eat uh, if the uh, if we find ourselves in a food emergency. Now don't get me wrong, the reason that we don't eat it all the time is because it is not delicious and it tastes like crap. That's the reason why it's up on the hill and not in the garden. But it will keep you alive uh, and it will you know put something in your belly. And uh, you know, dandelion, the young dandelion leaves aren't that bad, they're kind of citrusy. But it's not something that I, you know, that I would eat on a regular basis. And poke salad is not something that I would eat on a regular basis. It's not bad if you fry it up with eggs or cook it with something if you have it. But by itself, no, nope, I'm out. Like I say, it's stuff like that. There's a reason why I stuff, you know, on the hill and on the creek and not in the garden. It's because it's uh, one of those emergency things. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I just wanted to, to, to throw that out there. I thought it was a very valid point that that, that he made, um, as far as you know, another aspect of preparedness. I mean, you can have you can have lots of food stores, and if you have, you know, a lot of food stores and, and a lot of extra flour and salt and sugar and beans and that stuff, that's great. Uh, that's what that stuff's there for. However, once you go through that, uh, you know, say you go a month where you're just using your food stores. And if you're on your own, you don't have any way to get the store to replenish it, then eventually that stuff's going to run out and you're going to have to know what the land around you provides. So uh, I would suggest that everybody takes the, takes the time and gets a, uh, you know, finds a, their local area, uh, some information on their local area to find out what they can, what they can eat and what's safe to eat because there's a lot of mushrooms. Uh, some of the mushrooms like morels and, uh, and hickory jacks or the, uh, uh, some people call them pheasant tails uh, mushrooms. You know they're good. They're they're not bad tasting, and uh, some of the mushrooms, man, will kill you deader than a doornail, quick. So you just got to know what you're into. And, uh, make sure you're doing the, the best you can. Uh, knowledge is what's going to save uh, a lot of people, and is what's going to help a lot of people get through any kind of emergencies that uh, that arise. So uh, anyway, guys, just want to throw that out there. Hope it helps. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, Ironhead's channel down in the description box too. He's he's a good old country boy. If you go, if you don't know him, go check him out. He's uh he's he's pretty funny. So <laughs> anyway, y'all y'all have a great day. Oh, God bless in the end. Buzz buzz the end.